know if y'all heard it. <coughs> 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 As y'all can see, I was in the middle of getting ready, so I figured just to start recording because I have not put up a video in a while, so I hope that y'all stay tuned and continue to watch. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get this started. So what I've been using is the Jaclyn Hill palette, of course. That's what I use all the time. I used Silk Cream, which is, ooh! I used Silk Cream, which is this guy right here in the transition, and then I used this color right here which is called pukey in my um well really all over the lid increase i'm gonna grab the color roxanne right here which is this really burnt orange color and put it right here on the outer crease and um blend it into the other shadow first of all let me explain well i kind of did explain in my last video why i wouldn't be posting as much just because i did go back to school um when i come back on the weekends we have a lot of places to go and honestly i won't put this much like eyeshadow on and stuff or winged eyeliner i do always have like a full face but never like my eyes being super dramatic so um kind of hard for me and then also I have uh, always seem to have homework on the weekends as well, so I do come home every weekend, which is not <laughs> what a lot of people do, but I do. I'm different, yeah, I'm different. So what I'm doing right now is just going back and forth with the shadow, blending it out with the brush I used as a transition for my transition, for transition <laughs> for the other shade. Okay. And for the other shade, the pukey color and Roxanne, what I'm using right now, I'm using the M576. Honestly, when I first got this brush, I didn't like it at all. You really have to like mess with it and like open it up a little bit because it comes like super pointy, but it's like a really good blending brush for right in the crease once you like mess around with it and stuff. So, all right, next we're taking the black shade Abyss right here. This is what I usually do every day, actually, like going to school and I'll take the shadow right up in here on the outer part of my lash line and just like blend it out a little bit with this brush. This is a pencil brush from Avon. You can get a pencil brush really anywhere. So now I'm going to take this guy and start blending that out and then I will just do that for the other eye. When someone starts loving you, I need not be in, even when you want me to. Um, so I guess I'm going for like a fall look today, man. I like it. So when I don't want to do a wing, this is what I do. I just uh, smoke it out a little bit because I really like the way eyeliner looks. I honestly don't like taking it too far, like into the eye um i don't know why i feel like it closes it off or it makes my lid space look even smaller and i have hooded lids so that doesn't help any but yeah that's irrelevant but <clears throat> i really like doing this technique so now i move on to the face um i've already primed i moisturized my cheek with this avon moisturizer and then i did go in with the makeup forever step one equalizer this is the mattifying one only in my t-zone because I'm really dry on my cheeks, but I'm super oily everywhere else, so. So now I'm going to be going in with this Milani um, Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation Plus Concealer in Warm Beige Number 5. And then I'll be going in with my L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Makeup in the color Natural Buff in 3. First, I'm putting the Milani one all over my cheeks. Um, I really enjoy this one because it has a lot of coverage. Um, but I do not like that it like gets cakey on. I already have foundation on my skin because I, I mean my skin. I already have foundation on my forehead from cleaning up my brows, but I really do enjoy um, the coverage that this one has. It just tends to cake up like right around here, my nose area, my chin really quickly, but my cheeks are dry and like, well, normal to dry skin. So I figured that I can use this one on my cheeks. 
So now I will take the L'Oreal one and put it everywhere else I didn't put that Milani foundation. And this is a little bit lighter than the Milani one, so it will act as almost like a highlighter maybe. My nose is terrible guys, like it never takes product, it's so annoying, like it just... Like honestly guys, it's so annoying. My nose does not take product to save my life. Like, just refuses. And it gets cakey on me. You already know. Y'all already know. So I'm gonna be going in with two concealers. First, I will be going in with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Light. And then I will be going in with my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light Sand, just because it's a little too light for the foundation I'm wearing today. But um, I'm just gonna go ahead and mix them together and all will be well. On camera, for some reason, this concealer looks a lot lighter than it is. It's pretty close to my skin tone, like the color of my skin. But uh, it comes off a lot lighter on camera for some reason. As now that I have that set down on my face, I'm gonna go ahead and start blending them together with my beauty blender. All right guys, now I'm gonna be taking my Cody Airspun powder in translucent extra coverage, and I'm gonna be setting my under eyes. Alright guys, while this bakes, I'm going to show you my new favorite loose setting powder for my face. It is um, colored powder, it's not translucent. It is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in the shade Light 15. And honestly guys, it's so good. I haven't experienced any flashback with this powder. It's been really good to me. It actually gives my face this like... <clears throat> it actually gives my face this airbrush finish like... It helps fill in my pores, It feel I feel like. It helps um, smooth out my texture, which I really enjoy. Um, just because I do have a lot of texture for some reason. I don't know why I am not the biggest fan of my texture, obviously, who is, but um, this really does help with that. This powder costs um, $5.99 at Walmart. Really good price as well, so. Oh no, my shirt, no, my shirt, no. What I like to do is pat it into my face, like stipple it onto my face, and then I will swirl the rest away and then pick up a little bit more and swirl it over my face again. Go get you some of this powder, it's so good. Um, I did wipe away my bake and now we will go on to the bronzing part. I'm not going to contour my face today just because I don't feel like it. I'm a little too glam to just be going back to school, but oh well. So I'm going to be using my... Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer, honestly, favorite bronzer ever. It's in the light bronzer. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna be taking it just on my cheeks and forehead. And just to clean that up a little bit, I'm gonna be using my Cody Airspun powder to clean up the bronzer just a little bit. And just a quick tip for you guys who are going to be baking your bronzer, I do recommend putting your face powder first just because if you do bake under your bronzer with a light powder and you haven't set your face yet, that powder will stick to the foundation and you will have this white mark under your bronzer. So that is a tip I'd like to share with y'all. Now I'm going to be taking this Tarte blush in the shade Prim. It is one of their 12 hour bronzers. It is a matte, very neutral bronzer. So I do use this with a lot of my looks just because it goes with so many of my looks. So <laughs> After I apply my blush, I do like to knock off the powder with my setting brush and then I will go back in with my foundation, not foundation, my setting powder brush just to make sure it's not too light under my bronzer. I'm going to go ahead and set my face with the Mario Badescu Rose Water. I do like to spray this on my face, let it dry just a little bit, and then I will apply my highlighter after. All 
I really hope it's still recording. That would suck. After that, I will go in with my favorite highlighter, which is the Jeffree Star Highlighter in Peach Goddess. As you will see right now, it is busted. I am in need of a new one. I'll be applying that to my cheekbones, my cupid's bow, the tip of my nose, a little bit on my forehead. And that's it. That sounded like I was going somewhere else. Then I'm going to be going in with the Rimmel Lash Accelerator Mascara in Extra Black. And then after that, I'll go ahead and apply a lip and we'll be done. Alrighty guys, and for the lip, I did go ahead and apply the Smashbox liquid lipstick in the shade Step Out. I almost forgot to set my brows. I'm using the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Alrighty guys, and we are done with this look. It's very fall appropriate. But I hope you all enjoyed watching this video. I am so sorry. I will try to get as many videos up as possible. And I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys. I just love applying it, you know. just love it so much. Do you see that? I was, like, trying to show off my nails. It's, like, too far into the eye. I already have foundation on my freaking forehead. Ah! I go so ham when I blend on my forehead, dude. Just Ooh, I get to show off my nails. What's up? Where I get to shape my eyeshadow the way I want. <laughs> Alright, great. <laughs> Girls, do you like the translucent? I can't even talk. Translucent, translucent. Just the regular translucent one. I cannot say translucent to save my life. I'm on the word. I hate myself. I just stuck my hand in all of the shades in the Jaclyn Hill palette. I test myself every day. Honestly.